All right, YouTube. So here we are, third part of the uh, video series on the microcorg and getting kind of that 80s horn patch. Uh, you hear it on the, the dance songs from the era. So this is how to do it on the microcorg. I'm going to walk you through the patch in a minute, but here's the sound again in case you forgot. Up an octave. So it's hitting the modulation wheel like I showed you in uh, video number two there. All right, so let's kind of walk through the patch. Uh, you can see that the name of the patch is uh, for a different uh, band and a different sound, but it's kind of a similar keyboard that was used for that kind of thing. So um, uh, take some screenshots. I'm not going to walk through every single thing, but the important thing here is the two oscillators are sawtooth. You're not using LFO2 anywhere, and when you do that... LFO2 is automatically used for the modulation wheel, and that's kind of key for the sound is you have that modulation wheel for uh, pushing that up and getting that uh, warbly sound there. Um, so LFO2 controls your modulation wheel, and the amount of that modulation is controlled by that right there, the uh, intensity, and I've got mine set for five. Uh, you may adjust yours as needed. Uh, one thing I did do after uh, the last time I made a video is I, I played around with the delay a little bit, tried to make the delay uh, kind of like a reverb. You know, you're not going to get there because a, a delay is not a reverb, but you can see I set a pretty short delay time, and the delay depth, which is uh, kind of like the feedback or the repeat, is fairly high. So you can play around with this or, or just cut the thing off and use a, a, a reverb like I showed you in the other uh, YouTube videos. And then we got the EQ here, and you can adjust that to taste if, uh, you know, you want it to be something different. You want punchier horns or you want more bass in the horns. It's a great place to adjust it. Uh, I've also got the chorus flanger on. It's kind of light. Uh, I don't have anything going on here for the arpeggio. Uh, back to the main one. Let's, let's page down so you see the whole thing there. Uh, so there is the filter. There's the amp filter. Uh, LFO2 is the sign. 71, uh, then you got your sawtooth one and two, and then you got your filter right here. I don't have distortion on, you can do that if you want to get more, uh, you know, kind of grit in the thing. You can also add uh, some noise level into it too. Sometimes people do that on their horn parts, add a little noise level. Anyway, so here we go. As promised, uh, number three in the series. Here's the actual patch. By the way, if you don't have this, this is the Microcorg uh, sound editor. I'm using it on Windows. I believe there's a Mac version. I'm not sure if it works on Mac or not because I'm not a Mac user. But it certainly works on Windows, and it's very helpful to keep track of all your patches and uh, what uh, values to give them, although you, you can adjust all this uh, on the Microcorg itself. Uh, it's all adjusted through the knobs in, in the middle, the two edit selects, and then the five knobs uh, that, that have all the details below it that are printed on the front of the microcord. So this is the sound. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, you can tweak it however you want. This is uh, something, again, that I use for a different sound. And I realized that it worked well for that horn sound and kind of messed with it a little bit. So uh, this doesn't work quite as well for the name of the patch anymore, but works well for the horn thing. So there you go.